And one of the cool things about ice fishing is just about no matter where you live, you get to fish two lines. And that's a huge advantage with ice fishing. What I like to do is I like to have a jigging rod basically set up in my hand that I'm constantly moving and jigging up and down the water column. And then what I like to do is I have, like to have a dead stick. Now with the dead stick, you can use that as two different things and that just depends on how the fish are. If the fish are really lethargic that day, what I like to do is just put a lead head jig on that dead stick, put it in the rod holder and let it sit stationary. And a lot of times you'll have those fish that aren't aggressive enough to come up and hit that jigging presentation, they'll hit that jigging or that dead stick presentation that's not moving at all. But on days where those fish are biting really good, what I like to do is I like to put a lure right on my dead stick that maybe be a jigging spoon or a jigging wrap, and I like to just let that sit there. And then when I catch a fish, a lot of times they'll come in in schools of two, three, four at a time. And so what you can do is you can catch that one aggressive fish that bites your jigging rod, and if you quick grab that dead stick and start working that, you can catch that fish as well. Use those two rods to catch as many fish as possible. There we go. Got that fish to bite. We had that all basically on live roll and the crazy thing is, is that fish must have been down there for a solid minute before we finally got him to bite. Oh, it's nice fish too. Oh, no, off in the hole. Man, finally got him to bite and then just like that he got off. Ice fishing can be frustrating, but I tell you what, when they do bite and you do get them in the hole, it sure is a lot of fun. Quick, my right, eyes taking out line. Get over. Yep, yep, he's there. Oh, feels like a pretty good fish. That fish come up off the bottom, and he was kind of chasing my spoon, but he just didn't eat the spoon, and then he went right back down and he sat there right at my dead stick. And I was watching that mark to sit on the dead stick. Next thing you know, he's grabbed a hold of it. And basically, what a dead stick is is it's just that. It's a jig that's sitting stationary in the water. Oh man, that is a nice fish. That is really a nice fish. Wow. Throwing rods all over the place. Man, he didn't feel like he was that big. That is a gorgeous fish. But that fish came up off the bottom and was chasing my spoon. And he came up and down off the bottom multiple times. And then he just kind of went down back to the bottom and he sat right next to my dead stick. And what a dead stick is, is basically a rod that's just sitting in a rod holder. And it's got that jig, just like that, with a minnow on it. Of course, the minnow's falling off now. But that minnow's just sitting down there doing its thing. And that fish was just a little too lethargic to eat a moving presentation, like a jigging spoon that I had on. But he had no problem taking a big old bite out of that jig and a minnow. What a nice fish.